It's about time I did another Command & Conquer video, folks, and today I'm going to cover Tiberian Sun on the channel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the game for free, set it up with what I would recommend as the best settings, and then I'm going to play through a mission and talk through it. And a special shout out to James Earl Jones, RIP. He died recently. Really crappy news but i will forever remember his performance in this game i still have my big box edition and he's even in the front face of the manual interactions between him and kane and mike and bean as well if you re recall that he's in this game also are really really cool and really really well done but anyway let's get on with the video so folks there's a couple of ways you can actually download this but the easiest way you, you can just go simply to cnc.net.org forward slash tiberian dash sun and download this as free to play because ea made this freeware so it's legal to download this game specifically now you can in theory download the game via the ea app and it comes with a bundle of cnc games if you wish but i find this is the easiest method so go to the main page and on very front face of the main page you can see all downloads we need two files we need the full game so go ahead and download this file it'll bring you to this uh, website here and just go ahead and hit download while that's downloaded i'm going to go back we're going to do all downloads again and then we're going to need patch for existing windows installations as well to so go ahead and download that also okay so once those are downloaded what i've done is i've put them on my desktop here so first we want to do is we want to launch the ts installer itself so double click that and hit yes here and then we're going to go next it's very straightforward i'm going to put this into g forward uh, g semicolon uh, backslash sun i'm going to hit next and what you want to do is here is you can enable desktop shortcuts if you wish i'm not going to bother and what i want it to install is the missions the movies the music and the extras make sure all of these are checked so once you've confirmed that hit next again and hit install now it will also start downloading the movies etc so this takes quite some time give it time and once it's done we'll continue Once that installation is complete, you can, if you want to install the theme packs, they're Windows theme packs for GDI and not, I'm not going to bother. Hit finish. And immediately what you want to do is you want to next launch TS patch. So go ahead and hit yes on this. I accept the agreement, hit next. It should by default find the location where you installed Tiberian Sun. If it doesn't, you can browse to it manually, but it should. And what you're going to do is you're going to install it into that directory. And what will happen is it'll automatically launch the launcher, the new custom launcher. Bear in mind, this patch is a custom community patch, but it fixes a lot of issues that come with the base version. So the next thing is I want to do is go to settings. And there's a couple of recommendations here. The most important one I recommend is to change the game resolution. And I actually play this game at 640 by 480. Now this game scales weirdly. If you increase the resolution and let's say you bring it up to 2560 by 1440, everything looks so small on this screen. I actually prefer the kind of zoomed in view of the original kind of game resolutions of 640, 480, 800 by 600 in and around that range. So I highly recommend actually playing the game resolution at a lower resolution. The game will actually uh, be more appealing and it'll actually look better because you can see more uh, of the uh, enemies and your units on screen and they just appear bigger. And I actually think that's much better. The other thing you can do is you can go to advanced settings and make sure the graphics patch and the single processor affinity is enabled. They're kind of Windows 10 fixes that should be enabled by default. You can enable or disable to play the actual intro. I'm going to disable it because that's the kind of the pre-Westwood intro that you don't really need to see over and over again. It's up to you. And the other cool thing on this as well is that you can adjust the music volume and enable shuffle of music on and off. I like to have it on especially when I'm playing the campaign and you can adjust the volumes here as well. I'm going to actually turn up the game volume slightly uh, to 40%. I'm going to apply that OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually play the game. Now, just before I actually do that, there's a couple of options. You can use the custom skirmish launcher, which is really handy as well. I'll just show folks that briefly. And again, this is created with the custom community modification in mind. So you can create a really cool uh, set up for your skirmish and you can change some custom levels tech levels uh, increase your credit the speed of the game 
and you can put in as many units and as you want and you can start some team games as well so i found using that was really cool for skirmishes i'm going to close that though because i'm not going to do that and you can also play this online that actually uses that cnc5.net uh, installer it'll actually install an, addif an additional executable and it will launch that and let you actually play people online through this custom community modification however we're just going to go ahead and play offline and once the game actually launches you'll be able to see that actually has the fire storm mission pack as well i'm going to just select standard tiberian sun And let's go to, ah, sure, new campaign. And I'll do maybe the Brotherhood Nod first mission. And it, as you can see, it includes all the movies as well, which is really cool. The FMV sequences from the game. I'm going to actually skip this and get straight into the game. Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. And this is what I meant by um, playing the game at 640 by 480 resolution. I just think it looks better and it actually kind of makes it feel more retro to me than I visually remember the game as I played it all those years ago. Uh, let's make a couple of more my infantry units here. Unit ready. Unit ready. And hmm, kick this guy's ass. Can get him. Construct more power plants. And I'm gonna repair that power plant. I think the game speed is mad high at the moment. Let me just check the game controls. Yeah, let's turn it down a small bit. <laughs> uh, there we go. I could do with another power plant, possibly. Construction complete. Yeah, let's get another power plant up there. All right. Destroy all of Hassan's elite guard. Training. Unit ready. It doesn't seem to have changed the speed. Oops, I never saved it. That's what I did. I was supposed to go to option menus. My bad. Um, okay, resume. Actually, now it's way too slow. <laughs> okay. That's better. Get rid of this guy as well over here. I keep Train. making units here. Unit ready. To get production online, build a Tiberium refinery. Unit ready. Oh, we could I need to do that. Jeez, I forgot. I anyway, have plenty of units yes, sir, up and running here. Scroll speed as well, I could adjust that too. So that's probably another recommendation there. Turn it up maybe to fast. Now that's a bit better, Grant. So yeah, as I see as I said, I just prefer that visual appeal of it being zoomed in rather than zoomed out, especially if you're using a high resolution. I just don't think it looks well at all. Um and you miss out on all those little minuscule details you you do uh, like when you think about it, Tiberian Sun was way ahead of its time. I, I remember I had a Pentium 200 MX and this MX techno technology, Pentium were really trying to sell it at the time. And this was one of the games that supposedly supported it or was enhanced by it. I don't know whether that actually was true at the time, but it was definitely being promoted by, Pe by the MX technology. If I can recall, as I said, I had like a Pentium 200 MX, 32 megs of RAM, Windows 95 PC. And this is a game that I really enjoyed playing on that. Okay, so now we can pop down a refinery. Let's just drop it here. Secondary objective achieved. Harvest the Tiberian to the north. Okay, well that's harvesting. I'm gonna keep making Train. units here. Unit ready. And I'm gonna send up a bunch of units Unit actually ready. just to attack straight away. Let's go do that. Unit ready. Let's send those units up here instead. Harvester under attack. I know that. Awaiting orders. Yes, sir. Get them. Awaiting orders. Training. Unit ready. Now I have a ton of units there, so... Maybe it's just this guy that's left. 
just scouting around just in case. Kick this guy's ass. Oh yeah, I can shoot this shoot, shoot, shoot through this wall actually. You can shoot these walls. <laughs> Primary objective. Nah, anyway, we win. <laughs> but anyway, look, that was a look at Tiberian Sun and how to install it on your machine. I'm actually going to play through the Nod campaign now. Jesus, I can't remember it. Uh, I normally play the GDI game campaign more so, but uh, anyway. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, folks, please let me know down in the comments. If, if you're a Command & Conquer fan, if you're new to the channel, please consider supporting my work, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, dudes.